All right, so I got a new gimbal for my camera. So uh, my boy Jackson and I uh, filmed this workout to, to test out the gimbal. So uh, anyway, this is a back, chest, shoulder, and ab workout. I've been doing this workout for over three months now. Uh, since we were in Jackson's office gym to film this, we had to make a few adjustments. So we're starting off with a normal grip lat pull down. Normally I was doing this assisted, so on an uh, assisted pull up machine, but since they do not have a uh, lat pull down or uh, assisted pull down machine, pull up machine at uh, Jackson's gym, we just use this lat pull down machine. Um, rep range is pretty high, that's why I was doing it assisted uh, and the machine helped with that as well. So 15 to 20 reps on this. As you can see, <clears throat> when I do my lat pull downs, I get a nice full stretch. I hold the contraction for about a second or two. So you're, you're making sure you're, you're putting your lats through a, a nice full range of motion. All right, and here we have the lat prayer. So two sets of this. I learned this one from uh, Menno Henzelmans. And this is an awesome lat exercise. The significance of it is as you can see, you're standing and it's a little more dynamic. So you can get into, you can kind of lean forward, almost perpen or almost parallel to the ground to get a nice full vertical stretch on your lats. And then you can kind of posture up and uh, and kind of you're, so I'm I'm hinging at my hip at the top to get a nice horizontal contraction on my lat. So it it uh, it pairs the the vertical and the horizontal plane of of uh, lat contraction, right? So that's the significance of this one. So as you can see, leaning forward, nice full vertical stretch on the lats, and then posturing up to get a nice horizontal uh, contraction. Then for our next exercise, we have two sets of a one arm dumbbell row. So about 10 to 15 reps per side. Uh, so not as many reps on the dumbbell row because by now you should have lots of blood lactic acid in your lats. So you shouldn't need as many reps on this one. So as you can see, I like to do it with my hand on a bench set at incline. So behind the bench, because that, again, that just puts you in more of a dynamic position. So you can put a little more emphasis on the stretch. And then again, sort of like with the lat prayer, um, posture up a little bit so you can get a nice horizontal uh, contraction. The, the stretch isn't as vertical as with the lat, the lat prayer. So this is, this is more on a horizontal plane for the entire exercise, but um, this way you get a nice full range of motion on your lat. And that's it for the back portion of the workout. So as you can see, we're now going tarps off for the chest exercise. So just one chest exercise is it's accessory work in this workout. So the flat dumbbell bench press. 
Um, so as you can see, full range of motion, I'm, I'm bringing the dumbbells all the way down pretty much to my torso. Um, what I work, what I really focus on here is keeping my wrists sort of outside of my elbows, not too much outside, but uh, for me, I have to work really hard to keep the tension on my chest. Um, that's something I've been focusing on for a while. And uh, yeah, nice and slow, controlled. We have Jackson here doing it. Jackson likes to go a little bit quicker. He's a little stronger on chest than I am. Um, but that's it for that, the chest portion of this workout. Then we move into the shoulder portion of the workout with my favorite side delt exercise. This is a superset actually. So we're starting off with a side dumbbell lateral raise. As you can see, uh, nice and controlled. I'm not swaying. I try to hold the dumbbells at the top for you know about a second, let them down nice and slow. Make sure you get a nice full contraction and keep your scapula a little bit retracted. So my shoulder blades slightly kind of pinched. And like I said, this is a superset, so we're supersetting the dumbbell lateral raise with the barbell upright row. So uh, higher rep on the lateral raises about 15 to or 12 to 25 because you're going to get pretty pretty fatigued. So that rep range will probably fall in the subsequent sets. So again, I'm trying to hold the barbell at the top a bit. Um, again, scapula retracted. I'm swinging a little bit on this one because I'm just doing my best to get as many reps as I can because you're pretty fatigued after the lateral raises. So you'll, you'll get about eight to 12 here. Finishing with abs with the cable crunch. Now, this is one of my favorite exercises for abs because one thing that's difficult with abs is getting a nice stretch across them on your exercises. And the cable really allows you to do that. So start this one off slow. Um, it, it could take some time to kind of get into the groove of keeping your abs uh, under tension. But again, I emphasize the stretch as much as I can. The first few reps I do a little bit slower to get my abs engaged and then you can you can speed it up a little bit as long as you feel that your your abs are contracted and uh, about 12 to 20 on this one again I start with my first set is 20 reps and then uh, the fatigue usually brings me down to uh, about 15 ish reps on the next set and then 12 on the last set and that's it for the entire workout so give it a try come back to this video and drop a comment to let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully with, with the new gimbal, we'll be making some more of these for you.